standing next to you, tell the person, I love you. No, no, add with the love of the Lord. Don't use it as an excuse to... Uh, and turn to the other person too, and tell the person, I love you with the love of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we, can we together say this before I started it to say? Your love is kind. Your love is patient. Can we just say this? Uh, you feel my heart. Say, you feel my heart. Tell the Lord with so much peace. So much peace and joy. Yeah. So you are amazing. Say, and you're amazing. Somebody, you're telling the Lord, not the guy standing. You're amazing, God. Say, and you're amazing. You make my life feel brand new. You make my life feel brand new. One more time, everybody. Your love, your love is kind. Say, your love is kind. If you're the meaning of love, this is the time to tell me. Say, your love. Jesus, you fill my heart hey. with so much peace so and joy. Much peace and hey. So you're amazing, Jesus. You're amazing. Hey. You make my life, you make my life feel great. The old things are gone, everything is new. You're amazing. Tonight, 
Tell the Lord to my everything, my everything is you. Oh yeah.
Can you tell the Lord tonight? To me, oh, to me, oh, oh yeah, to me, right. so to me, oh, oh, oh. Everybody, one more time. Say, to me, oh, oh, oh. say, to me, oh. You made my life so beautiful. He's the general overseer of Turning Point Ministries International with headquarters in Accra, Ghana. A man called and specially anointed to set the captives free. An apostle of deliverance, an outstanding teacher and preacher in spiritual warfare, spanning over 10 years in the deliverance ministry. With undeniable testimonies, signs and wonders, a man whose ministry has seen him widely traveled and ministers in global stations in Ghana and on the internet. He is the author of the bestseller, Overcoming the giant in the house as marriage hallelujah 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 i'm so excited to join you this sunday evening once again i'm so super excited and i know that god will do a new thing in your life i am so excited the lord richly bless you the lord bless you flourish you increase you, prosper you in all your endeavors in the name of Jesus. I'm so excited that you have joined us in our service. A prayer that God is going to use this medium to really minister to you and to touch you in a very special way. And I want you to help us to evangelize by sharing the link, creating a watch party, and helping somebody to also watch the program just as you are also watching with us. The Lord bless you as you watch the program. The Lord increase you. The Lord flourish you. The Lord bless you. May he favor you for um, today. May he bless you in your going. May he bless you in your coming. May you not lack anything that is good in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you are watching us, I want to encourage you. Help us to share the video. Help us to like, subscribe, and make sure that many more others join in, even as you have also joined with us. My prayer is that God will use this avenue to touch you in a very special way. The Lord bless you. You can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, uh, you can follow us on LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, Instagram handles, you can follow us on all these uh, major platforms and I guarantee you that as you do that, the Lord is going to bless you as you follow us, as you join us in the service. Now, I want you to know that tonight I am starting a new series and the title of the series is when the battle is from home when the battle is from home and we are going to be uh, doing this series for an entire one month after which um, every teaching we are going to stand upon the word of god and we are going to pray and so i want you to if you are listening to me just tune in i want you to share the page because i guarantee you that every bit and pieces of this series is going to be a blessing to you it's going to be a blessing to your family it's going to be a blessing to your children it's going to be a blessing to you yourself even your friends and even your enemies the lord bless you for making time to join us when the battle is from home but before I start, I want us to pray. If you are watching me, I want you to lift up your voice and ask the Lord to use this medium to minister to you. Ask the Lord to 
um, use his servant to speak a timely word for you. May he not speak as a mere man, but may he speak the wisdom of God. May I speak the wisdom of God, speak the counsel of the Lord. May the Lord use my ears to hear, my eyes to see. And may the Lord use every fiber of my spirit to minister and to touch you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. That there will be a supernatural touch. There will be a supernatural encounter. There will be a supernatural release unto whoever is watching us right now in the name of Jesus. That the glory of the Lord will be manifest in the meeting. That the power of God will be manifest. The anointing of, the, of God will be manifest in every endeavor in the name of Jesus. That the will and purpose of God will be established in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you praise. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. Rapando Sana, lift up a voice. Ask the Lord to use his servant. Ask the Lord to speak to you through his servant. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the gathering shall not be unto man, but the gathering shall be unto him alone. So we are praying and we are saying, Lord, may somebody who is watching us have an encounter with you, a fresh encounter, a fresh power, a fresh release. A fresh ocean. May we experience your dunamis in the name that is above every other name. Lord, we thank you. Now, I wanted to pray and ask the Lord that as we are entering the service, anything that will be a limitation to the service, anything that will be a barricade to the service, whether our sin, whether consciously or unconsciously, we are asking the Lord to forgive us. We are asking the Lord to cleanse us. We are asking the Lord to wash us, to justify us in the name of Jesus. May he renew a right spirit within us. May he not cast us away from your presence in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and have your way right now. Come and take preeminence. Come and take control, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, take control. Lord, I thank you. Spirit of the Lord, I give you praise. I magnify your name, O God. Le brada santa la brande le bebe be. Re ba 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 santa la brande le bebe ba shakaba. I kapara na santa la brande le bebe bo shakaba. Lord, I give you thanks. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I magnify your name. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Spirit of God, come and take control. Come and take control over today's service. Come and the service. Let your presence be eminent over the service. Let your power be eminent over the service. Let your glory be eminent over the service. Lord, we empty ourselves, O oh God, that we ask that Holy Spirit have your way this evening in the name of Jesus. Have your way this evening in the name of Jesus. Have your way this evening in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way. Have preeminent over the gathering. Have preeminent over the meeting. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of God, teach us what to say. Teach us what to do. Spirit of God, go before us in this meeting. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we cannot do without you, Lord. We need you every second. We need you every moment. We need you every hour. And so, Lord, come and take your place in this meeting in the name of the Lord Jesus. For you are our paracletos. You are our comforter. You are our healer. You are our, our, our paracletos. You are our comforter. You are our advocate. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Holy Ghost, come and have your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Matoka zabada da do shafada diata. Frekete masoka da diante badia. Repato sabada makudi ande. Bradus kavande barieto separatie. Makuri andos kavande bi atene masuata. Let the Spirit of the Lord take control. Let the Spirit of God have its own way. Let the Spirit of the Lord take control. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Father, we pray. Empty us, O oh God, of every reputation. Empty us, O oh God. Empty us, O oh God. We humble ourselves, Holy Spirit. 
before your very throne. We humble ourselves before you, Spirit of the Lord. Come and take control in the name of Jesus Christ. Manto samalaba santa yalaba dosa. I kapado samadi antere bradus kabande. Repado samalaba santa yalaba lava basanda. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rabanda raba santa yalaba ba. I kapando raba santa lava lava ba. I basaka banda lava ba santa ya. I basata lava ba 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 ba. Rabanto la brandi libianta ya lava ba. I kapanto la brandi libianta ba ya. In the name of Jesus Christ, O God, come and have your way. Come and take control, Lord. We ask for your presence. We ask for the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us, O God. That we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. And so we are praying over today's gathering that every activity of darkness, every limitation of darkness, every barrenness, any attack of God from the pit of hell, Lord, we scatter by the blood. We send confusion among them, O oh God. We send confusion. We send confusion. May they eat of their flesh and drink of their blood. We break every limitation. We break every stronghold. We break anything that is not of God. We are put to God in the name that is above every other name. We come against every principality and power. We come against every stronghold in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, my O Lord. We break every stronghold. We break every barricade. We break, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, anything in today's service that will hinder the flow of God, Father, we silence it to God. We pray for our audience who are watching us, that Lord, let your word come unhindered. Let their time not be wasted. Let somebody have an encounter with God in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Holy Ghost, come and take preeminence right now in the precious name of Jesus. Matsakarabashana. Reba ba shanta la ba ya ba no ra ba shaka ba raba to la bra bele bele be bo shaka ba ya tele bra dianta i kapara i kapanda la ba la ba shanta la ba dianta ya i ba shaka ba tele bra dianta la ba la ba ba in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just open your mouth and thank the Lord. Just open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. 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 Lord, I give you thanks. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I magnify your name in the precious name of Jesus Christ. With all, we bless you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, I thank you. I thank you for our audience who are watching us right now, Lord. And I pray for them that you will use this medium to minister to them. You will use this medium to minister to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I pray for the anointing of the Spirit of God to touch them in a very special way. Holy Ghost, let your fire permeate through this meeting right now in the name of Jesus. Let yokes be broken through this gathering. Let limitations be broken through this gathering. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. The Bible said that the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Father, we invoke the presence of the Holy Ghost. We invoke the anointing of God. We invoke the glory of the Lord to overshadow this gathering in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the time of your people not be wasted, O God. May they see your glory and experience your power. Lord, I pray that you will send your angels to go before them in the name of Jesus. Grant us understanding to the scriptures. Grant us understanding to the word of God. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We give you the praise. 
in Jesus precious name we call it that somebody will say a big amen the Lord bless you we are talking about when your battle is from home and I want you to share the page share the page share the, the video share the link make sure many more others join us even as we uh, start this journey in the name of Jesus Christ now I believe strongly that all of you are watching me you all come from a, a background you come from a home there is nobody who does not come from a home everybody or each one of us so long as we are not aliens so long as we are human beings we came from a background we came from a home and so nobody draw from the moon everybody came from a home now one of the things i want us to understand is that i have reiterated and i have said on countless occasions that there are many of you who are watching me 90 percent of the battles that you are going through everybody goes through battles of life it's part of life we all go through battles we we, we wage war we fight spiritually physically through the battles of life and 90 percent of many of us the battles that we fight come from within they come from the home but many of us we are we are not oblivious of that and we are ignorant of that that and that is the problem the, the Bible says that for lack of knowledge, my people perish, but for ignorance sake. And when it comes to spiritual things, uh, spiritual things is not about how old you are. There are many people who are very old. They, they, they go to church, all right, but they, they are very ignorant about spiritual things. I have said on several platforms and on several occasions that the devil is not moved when you go to church. The devil is not moved when you go to church. The devil is not moved when you uh, even pray. The devil is not moved when you, uh, you, you, you go to church. The devil is moved when you have revelation to be able to know how to deal with the enemy. And so there are many people who are battling in life. They are going through life's challenges and majority of those battles are from home. Now, one of the things I want to say tonight is that when it comes to the enemy, there is a proverbial saying that if an animal will bite you, it will bite you from your own domain, from your own home. And so I want you to understand that when it comes to the home, the enemies from the home are the most dangerous enemies and the reason why they are so dangerous is because you do not predict them to do you harm. For instance, if I am with my wife, I don't predict my wife to do me harm. If I'm with my husband, I don't predict my husband to do me harm. If I'm with my children, I don't predict my children to do me harm. And so it is easy for me to easily trust people that are from the same home with me, at the same family background with me, whether my brother, my sister, my wife, my uncle, whoever shares blood with me, it is very easy for me to trust that person. And so, most of the time, when there are battles we are going through from the home, it is very difficult to detect because these are people that you eat with. These are people that you drink with. These are people that you talk with. These are people that you share your secret or your intimate secrets with them. And so when they are the ones manipulating or doing anything to you, it is very difficult for you to discern and know that this is where my problem is coming from. And because of that, we are very less cautious. We are very less cautious. We let our guard down because we believe that the people that have surrounded us are people who genuinely love us. It is easy for you to deal with an enemy who is outside because you know that the enemy is outside. But it is very difficult to deal with the enemy within. Somebody that you sleep on the same bed with, 
Somebody you call your husband, somebody you call your wife, somebody you call your children, your mother, your father. It is very difficult when those people are the ones behind your problem. If they are the ones behind your challenges, if they are the ones behind your predicament, it is very difficult for you to be able to detect it and to be able to help yourself. And so there are many people who have lowered their guards at home because they believe that they are in the midst of those who they love and care. And those people also love and care for them. I want us to read a scripture that Jesus himself gave us in Matthew chapter 10 verse number 36. Matthew 10 verse number 36. The Bible says that a man and a man's foe, listen to what the Bible says. And a man's foe shall and a man's foe shall be they of his own household. This was what Jesus said. Jesus said, A man's enemy are members of his own household. Jesus said, A man's enemy are members of his own household and so when we are talking about enemies we are not talking about people outside we are talking about people within the same home that you come from the same bloodline the same uh, blood pattern the same family background are the ones that I'm talking about when your battle is from home when your battle is from home I want us to look at a scripture in Micaiah chapter 7 Micaiah chapter 7, 5 to 8. The Bible said, Trust ye not in a friend. Some of you, the, the, the very people that you call your friends are the ones who are doing you. The very people that you share your secret with are the ones that are doing you. Some of you, you call them your best friend. Your best friend. And so you have to be very careful who you call your best friend. There are many of you, have you to realize that anytime something good is coming your way, anytime something spectacular, something is coming your way, most of the time when you share the secret or you tell others about the problem, when you tell others about the problem or you share others about the, the, the predicament or whatever, most of the time you tell people what God wants to do in your life, those things don't materialize. Haven't you realized that? Anytime you tell people about what God wants to do in your life, the miracle God wants to do in your life, those things don't materialize. The reason why they don't materialize is because some of the people you call as your friends are actually familiar spirit. The enemy uses them, plant them in your life so that they can give the enemy information about you. And so you have to be very circumspect who you call your friend and who you associate yourself with. The Bible said in Micaiah, Micaiah chapter 7 verse 5 to 8, he said, trust ye not a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide, keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. For the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter rising up against his mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, a man's enemies are the men of his own house, a man's enemy are the members of his own house are the members of his own house and so you have to be very careful are the members of his own house so the bible goes further to say therefore i will look unto you lord and i will wait for the god of my salvation my god will hear me rejoice not over me my enemies for when i fall i will rise up when I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be the light unto me. And so we have to be very careful, the people that we call our friends. I'm going to read another scripture that will show you in the book of Daniel chapter uh, 6, verse number 1. The Bible says that 
It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 princesses, princes which should be over the whole kingdom. And over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, and the princes might give account unto them, and the kings should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the president and the princes because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the president and the princes sought to find an occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find no find none occasion of fault. For as much as he was faithful, neither was there an error of fault found in him. Then said this man, we shall not find any occasion against this that they said we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Concerning the law of his God. And so, these were enemies from within. I'm talking about enemies from within. The same company you work in. The same household that you come from. The same family that you come from. The same friends that you trust. Enemy from within. There are people that come around us that we trust them so much. We even share our secrets with them. We tell them intimate things. And when we have misunderstanding with them or have issues with them, our issues are in the marketplace. I pray for you who is watching me tonight that may God expose any fake friend. Any fake husband, fake wife, fake person around you, may God expose them in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who is around you that does not carry the right atmosphere, carry the right energy, carry the right spirit, may God himself flash them out in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord flash them out. Now let me tell you something. When I'm talking about Enemies from the home. Enemies from the home can be a wicked husband. Enemy from the home can be a wicked wife. There are, there are husbands who are very wicked. There are wives who are very, very wicked. I'm telling you, there are wives who can kill their husbands. There are wives who are very diabolical. There are husbands who are also very wicked. When I'm talking about household enemies, I am talking about people who are stepmothers. There are, there are some stepmothers who treat their stepchildren like, like, like rubbish, like garbage. There are stepfathers who even rape their children. There are stepmothers who place even iron, hot iron on the back of their stepchildren. I know of one stepmother who made her stepdaughter to drink her own menstrual cycle. And so there are wicked stepfathers, wicked wives, wicked husbands, wicked stepmothers. There are people that came from the same blood. They call themselves brothers. One mother, one father. But yet you will see some people who are so wicked. The same blood, one, one, one mother, one father. But one can take the brother to do, do, one can take the brother somewhere so that they can pull him down. One can mastermind and manipulate things in the spirit and, and, and gather people against his own blood sister or blood brother. So there are envious brothers, envious sisters, uncles and aunties who are envious. Maybe you are watching me, you have an uncle and an auntie who are saying over their dead bodies will they see you marry. Over their dead bodies will they see you succeed. Over their dead bodies will they see you build. Over their dead bodies will they see you make it. These are the people I'm talking about. When your battle is from home. There are people who cannot stand the fact that it is your mother's children that are doing well. Some people cannot stand the fact that it is your father's children that are doing well. There are people in the same office that you work with. They pay you the, salary, the same salary, but they are never happy about you. 
They are never excited about. They, they, they are so uh, they are so envious of you. They are so jealous of you. You earn the same salary with them. You 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 get the same incentives with them, but they are envious. There are people who the devil will even plant into our lives like house helps. Who the agenda of the enemy is to plant them into your life so that they can give information. When the enemy is from within. When the enemy is from within. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand that it takes someone close to lift you up. It takes somebody close to lift you up. And it will take somebody close to you to bring you down. Let me say it again. It takes somebody close to recommend you and to lift you up. It takes somebody close to bring you down. Let me tell you, it is people in the home that will send you to outsiders. Outsiders don't know what you are doing. Outsiders don't know what is in your head. Outsiders don't know your plans. So for an outsider to know your plan, it is an enemy within that will sell your plan. And so if people at home don't sell you, those outside will not buy you. Let me say it again. If people at home don't sell you, outsiders will not buy you. And I pray for somebody who is watching me that they are selling outside. I pray anybody who is selling your, your plans, selling your aspiration, selling your star to an outsider, may that person die by fire. May that person be arrested in the name of Jesus. May that person in your life be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any, anybody around you who is selling your plans, selling you, gossiping about you, saying things about you, lying about you, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. As they go to sleep tonight, they will not wake up. May the Lord expose them. May the Lord put them to shame in the name of Jesus. There are people like that. You introduce them to a friend. You introduce them to a business person. And by the time you realize you are calling that friend, that friend doesn't take your call. You are calling that business partner and that business partner does not pick your call because you introduce a wrong friend to that business partner. Some people will go around you after you have introduced them to a contact and they will go and spoil you and spoil your name to the manager, spoil your name to that person because they know that that person is your destiny helper. I prophesy in the name of Jesus and I speak tonight. Anybody who is spoiling you to your destiny helper, anybody who is saying bad things about you to your destiny helper, may the Lord begin to expose them by fire. May the Lord begin to expose them in the name of Jesus. May the Lord frustrate their enterprise. May the Lord frustrate their works. May the Lord frustrate their plans. I set fire into their camp right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, enemies from home, are the most dangerous enemies and that is why child of God you have to be very cautious because when you are dealing with an enemy outside it is easy but it is more or much more difficult when you are dealing with the enemy within I'm going to give you some few scriptures that we to, to further expatiate what I'm talking about the Bible talks about the brothers of Joseph. Joseph and his brothers. Joseph and his brothers, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 37, verse 20, Joseph had been asked to go give food to the brothers. The Bible says that Whilst he was bringing them food that would sustain them, that would make them alive, they were planning to kill him. That is how wicked the enemy is. 
He was bringing them food to resuscitate them. He was bringing them food so that they can eat and be full. And yet they were planning his demise. They were planning wickedness for him. They were planning to kill him because of the coat of many colors. The Bible says, come now therefore let us slay him. Genesis 37 verse 20. Come now therefore let us slay him. Cast him into some pit and we will say some evil beast has devoured him. And we shall see what will become of his dreams. The brothers of Joseph were jealous about Joseph. They were jealous about Joseph. They were jealous about his future. They were jealous about his vision. I came with a prophetic word to tell somebody. Maybe you are watching me. There are people who are jealous about you. Oh, Shana, they are jealous about your future. They can't stand your future. They can't stand your vision. They can't stand. They are so jealous about your, your marriage. They are jealous about your wife. They are jealous about your husband. They are jealous about you. But listen to me. I am to Shabaya. I came to tell somebody. David said, my enemies rejoice not over me. For when I fall seven times, I will rise up seven times. Those who are plotting your demise, those who are scheming your demise, I see the Lord laying a table before you in the presence of them. God will frustrate their enterprise. God will frustrate their works. God will frustrate their agendas concerning your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree in the name of Jesus that any body that has been assigned to fight your progress because they cannot stand your dreams, God will expose them this year. This year, before the end of this year, any jealous friend, jealous husband, jealous wife, jealous person around you, I decree in the name of Jesus, let the light of God shine in that darkness. May the Lord expose them. May God deliver you from jealous people. Because jealous people can kill. Jealous people can kill you, I'm telling you. People can be jealous. People can be jealous to even take your husband from you. People can be jealous enough to kill you and poison you. And so you have to be very careful. Joseph and his brothers, they plan to kill him. But for the intervention of Simeon, may God deliver you from people around you who are jealous. Another typical example I want to give us is Leah and Rhea. Rachel and Leah. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 30, verse number uh, 1 to 10, I read the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. The Bible said, and when Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children. Rachel began to envy her sister, her own sister. She began to envy her sister and she said to Jacob, give me sons or else I will die. There are people who are saying, until I bring down this brother, I will not be satisfied until I die. Let me rather die than to see this brother succeed. Let me rather die than to see this sister marry. Let me rather die than to see this brother promoted. Let me rather die than to see this person elevated. Today we are going to pray that anybody who is saying, let them rather die to see your peace, to see your joy, so shall it be to them in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. And the Bible said Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel. And he said, Am I God's dead? Who has withheld from you the fruit of your womb? Genesis 30, verse 3. And she said, Behold, my slave woman, Bilia, go into her, and she shall bear upon my knees. Yea, let me build up from her me also. And she gave him her slave woman, Bilia, to wife. And Jacob went into her, and Bilia conceived and bore a slave. Bought Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God has judged me and has also heard my voice and has given me a son. Therefore, his name shall be called Dan. And Rachel's slave woman, be there conceived again, bought Jacob a second son. 
And Rachel said, with, with the wrestling of God, I have wrestled with my sister and I have prevailed. And she called him Naphtali. And when Leah saw that she had quit Barry, she took her slave Ziba and gave her to Jacob to wife. And Leah, slave woman Ziba, bore Jacob also a son. Sisters are rivalry, fighting. Rivalry between two sisters, Leah and Rachel. And, and this same thing happens in families. Where brother and brother are fighting, sister and sister are fighting, mother and children are fighting. They cannot see eye to eye. They are fighting all the time. Another example is Absalom and his brother. Absalom killed his brother for raping their sister. And later led a rebellion against his father to topple the father and take his kingdom and take his throne but for the intervention of God. Another example is Cain and Abel. Cain killed his own brother Abel. According to Genesis 4 verse 8, the Bible said, and Cain talked with his brother Abel and it happened when they were in the field. Cain rose up against the brother Abel and killed him. In Genesis 4 verse 9, and Jehovah said unto Cain, where is your brother? And he said, am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries to me from the ground. And now you are cursed more than the ground which is opening its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. And Cain appeared to be friendly with Abel, his brother, but he was looking for an opportunity to kill him. When you look at the scripture, Cain appeared to be very friendly, very nice. There are people like that. They are the same people who will bite you. Then they will, they will blow air. They will bite you. Then they will blow air. I tell people, when you see people smile and they show you their 52 teeth, they are telling you that they can bite you. That is why they are showing their teeth. It's not because they are happy for your progress. It is because they are telling you I have a deed and I can bite you. And so I need you to understand that there are enemies from the home whose agenda is to afflict you on your mission to life. Or, or, or the mission that God has given to you on this earth. They have been assigned to afflict that mission that God has given to you. There are enemies from home who are on an avenging mission to avenge, to avenge, like Absalom. There are enemies on the home who are on a killing mission. They have an agenda to kill. They want to kill, steal, and destroy. There are enemies on the home who are on an agenda to exchange your glory for that of their children. There are some people who carry so much excel glory that they cannot stand it. They want to exchange it and give it to their children. Today we block it. We block every demonic exchange in the spirit that concerns your life. We block any satanic exchange in the spirit that concerns your life in the name of Jesus. There are enemies from home the agenda is to betray you and to hurt you and to afflict you with pain. Today I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who is a Judas, that the devil has planted in your life to betray you like Jesus, I pray that may God expose every Judas in your life in the name of Jesus. May the Lord expose every Judas in the precious name of Jesus. There are those who want to take your glory down. There are, there are enemies of the home who want to take your glory, sabotage your glory. There are enemies of the home who are on character assassination. They will say things about you which is not true. They will spread false rumors. There are people like that. All they do is to spread false rumors, lie on you, bear false witness, 
bear false allegations and accusations, demonic accusations against you, to inflict pain, to inflict hurt, to inflict bitterness. Today we are going to pray that may the Lord expose them. Anybody that the devil has assigned to inflict pain on you, to character assassinate you, may God expose them in the name of Jesus. Many enemies on the whole, the reason why they do the things they do, I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you why they do the things they do. Enemies from home, I'm going to tell you why they do the things they do. They are moved by envy and jealousy. They are moved by envy and jealousy. Now, if you are watching me, listen to me carefully. Be careful of people who are jealous. People who cannot stand your progress. People who feel that uh, it should rather be them and not you. Watch out for people who feel that you are a threat to their progress. They see you as a threat to their progress. Watch out for people who think you are standing on their way to the, the top or you are standing on their way to their progress. Watch out for people who think God is blessing you more than them and so they are jealous. Watch out for colleagues who are ready, like according to Daniel, who are ready to throw you into the lion's den and who are ready to throw you into the fiery fence. Abel, Abel's sacrifice went to heaven and his brother Cain was jealous and he killed him. He became suddenly nice to him, friendly, and he killed him. Those who are, are, are those who are from home, who when the battle is from home, the reason why they battle with you is because they are moved with greed. They are greedy people. Watch out for people who want what you have. Be careful of anybody who wants what you have. The person wants your children, wants your husband, wants your business, wants everything about you. Watch out for people who want to improve themselves at your expense. They want to improve themselves at your expense. They don't care about you. They, are, they have their own selfish interests. Be careful of such people. Remember the story of Samson. Samson was sold by his hidden wife. I'm telling you, Samson was sold by his hidden wife. Some husbands in their in the occult, sell their wives and their children for money rituals. Witches and wizards, they kill their close uh, or distant relatives for promotion in the witchcraft coven or witchcraft kingdom. The, those who, who fight you, who are from home, the reason why they fight you is because they are moved by pride. They are moved by pride. Be careful of people who are moved by pride. The Bible says in Esther chapter 3 verse 1, After these things, King Ahasuerus promoted Haman to the son of uh, the son of Hamekta the Agagite and advanced him and set, him, set his seat above all the princes who were with him. And the king's servant in the king's gate bowed and worshipped him. For the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai did not bow nor worship. And the king's servant in the king's gate said to Mordecai, Why do you transgress the king's command? And it, it happened when he spoke daily to him, and when he did not listen to them, they were told the Haman. So to see if Mordecai matters would stand, for he had told them that he was a Jew. And when Haman saw that Mordecai did not bow to worship him, then Haman was full of wrath, and his and he scorned to lay hands on Mordecai, for he had revealed to him the people of Mordecai and Haman sought to destroy all the Jews throughout the kingdom the whole kingdom of Hazarus and the people of Mordecai so watch out for people you have watch out for people you have hurt knowingly or unknowingly if you are listening to me watch out for people that you have hurt either knowingly or unknowingly they can come back at you Watch out for people who like being worshipped. People who like being worshipped.
Battles from home come from people of sheer wickedness. They have no basis for the wickedness that they are doing. They have no basis, but yet they do it. You ask them, why did you kill this person? Say, the person doesn't respect. Why did you kill this person? Oh, this person, he doesn't greet me when he comes back from school. Funny, funny things. They have no basis, but they will do it. Be careful of people who are moved by fear and suspicion. Fear and suspicion. And it happened as they came in, as David returned from the striking, that the Philistine, the women came out of all the city of Israel, singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tablets, with joy, and with instrument of music. And when the women answered, they played and said, Saul has slain his thousand, David his ten thousand. And Saul was very angry. And this thing was evil in his eyes. And he saw, and he said, they had given ten, David ten thousand, and to me they have given only thousand. And what more can he have but the kingdom? And so I, David, from that day on forth. David never had a problem with Saul until the women began to sing his praises. David never had a problem with the devil until he was anointed. Anointing is very powerful. Anointing attracts the enemy. And so we are going to stand upon the word of the Lord to pray tonight. When the battle is from home. I want you to begin to thank the Lord for his word that has come to you and I. Open your mouth and thank him for the word that has come. Open your mouth, bless the name of the Lord. Thank him for the word that has come. Father, we thank you. Spirit of the Lord, we give you praise. Thank him, thank him, thank him for the word. Thank him for the word. Rabata Santo la Brande de Bebe, Rabba Baba Santa la Baya Banto la Brande de Bebe, Rabba Baba Santa la Ba. Thank him for the word, thank him for the word that has come, thank him for the word that has come, thank him for the word that has come in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we magnify your name. Lord, we exalt your name. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your banner. Lord, we lift up your throne in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Lord, take all the glory. Lord, take all the praise. Lord, take all the adoration. Rabantola Bradi and Telebade. Reba Baba Santa Labalaba. Rabban Telebradata Santaya. Imakadabato Labrande Viviante. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. I want us to pray against every household wickedness. Every household wickedness. We are saying that let the fire of the Lord expose them. Let the fire of God expose them. Every household wickedness against our lives, against our family, against our children. Let the fire of God expose them. Let the fire of God expose them. We come against their wickedness. We come against their plans. We come against their deviation. We come against their sorcery. We come against their wickedness. Lord, we come against them by, by thunder, by judgment. We command them, O oh God, may they be exposed. Any house of wickedness from your mother's side, from your father's side, from the church, from your workplace, Lord, begin to expose them. May they eat of their flesh. May they drink of their blood. Every gathering, every conspiracy against the church, against our life, against our future, against your church. Lord, we send fire. We send the fire of God. We expose their roots. We cut down their root. We cut it down. We cut it down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, send your fire. Send your fire to expose them right now. Send your fire to expose them right now. Send confusion in their midst, O oh God. Send confusion in their midst, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, let the blood of Jesus speak. Uh, let the blood speak, O oh God. Makora basanta ya rekabado shabada da rekabado shakalababa rekabado shakalababa. Father, every household wickedness. 
Manto Gazibare, every witchcraft oppression against your people, against your church, against the leadership, against our lives, against our audience. Father, we pull it down by the blood. We pull them down. We pull them down. Lord, so Father, frustrate their enterprise. Frustrate their enterprise. Frustrate their enterprise. Every wickedness of God in high waters, in low waters, in our background, whether from our mother's side, whether from our father's side, Lord, send your fire. Send your fire. Send your fire. Let the blood speak, O oh God. Let the blood of Jesus begin to expose them now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I pray, let the blood, let the blood, let the blood speak, O oh God. Father, I decree, let the ocean speak, let the glory of the Lord be lifted, let the anointing of the Lord speak, every power of wickedness, every altar that is speaking against the church, against our lives, every house of wickedness, wherever they are taking our picture, wherever they are taking our cloth, Father, we pull their works down, we destroy their plans by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we send fire, we send light, when there is darkness, somebody lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. We karabarabashana, brakatolianta, rapatolianta, 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 imakapaya, imakalababa, imantaya lababa, yakapaya, yapataya, rapataya, 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 imakaria, imantalia, imantalia, imparatoria, pariatelia, pariatelia. In the body of God, from your mother's side, from your father's side, Makariaba, 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 let the fire of God, Lord, expose them. Batoke, Tekeke, Brakatabayaba, Brakatabayaba, Kapalababa, 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 Papayan, Papala, Rapapa, 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 Yapalia, Yapalia. In the name of Jesus, we are still in prayer. We are praying against every unfriendly friend. Everybody in our lives who has no business being in our lives, Lord, and chase them out. Let the fire of the Lord chase them out. Let the fire of the Lord chase them out. Anybody in our lives who has no business being in our lives, Holy Ghost, begin to chase them out. Begin to chase them out. Begin to chase them out by fire, by thunder. Begin to chase them out by fire, by thunder. Begin to chase them out by fire. 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 Lord, begin to chase them out. Begin to chase them out. Begin to chase them out by the unction of the Holy Ghost. Lord, chase them out by fire. Chase them out by fire. Chase them out by fire. Break loose. Any wickedness of God in high waters, in low waters, Lord, any unfriendly friend, anybody that the devil has planted in our lives of God to send information, to send information, oh Lord, we destroy Father Lord, any plantation of evil that has been projected against us, oh God, against our family, against our children, Lord, we declare May they eat of their flesh, may they drink of their blood. Lord, expose them now, expose them now, expose them now, expose them now by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood. Let the blood speak, 
Let them blaspheme. Let them blaspheme. Any unfriendly friend, Lord, expose them in our lives. Expose their COVID. Expose their plans. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bakala Baba. Rapayanta. 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 Rapayala Baba. Rapayala Baba. Rapayala Baba. In the name of Jesus. We are still in prayer. I want you to pray against every demonic accusations, any satanic accusations, any false rumor that they are spreading against you, your life, your calling, your assignment, any false accusation against your life. Lord, begin to expose it. Begin to expose it by the blood of Jesus. Any demonic accusation, any satanic accusation, Lord, begin to expose it now. Begin to expose it now by the power of the blood, by the power of the blood of Jesus. Lord, expose it, Lord. Rabba baba baba, rabba yanta la 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 la, rabba yanta la 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 la, rabba yanta la 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 la, rabba yanta la 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 la. Lord, expose it by the blood and the power of the blood of Jesus. Lord, begin to expose it now. Begin to expose it now. Begin to expose it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let God be God. Let God be God. Rapa da ba da ba da ba da. Rapa yan tala ba la ba ba. 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 Lord, expose their wetsa. Expose their trancer. Expose their divination. Expose their sorcery. Expose their wetsa, God. May they eat of their flesh. May they drink of their blood. Rapa da 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 bosha. Rapa yan tala ba la ba bosha. He kapa yan tala. Lord, let your own shame, let your own shame, let your own shame begin to expose. Eya pariente, rekoto koto zavaya, imako la valea, repato kaziva de, repe de be de be de, repe de be de be de be. Let the blast speak, O God. Let the blast speak, O God. Father, we overturn every curse. We overturn every curse. We overturn every curse in the name of Jesus Christ. La parabayanta. Rapayanta la baba, 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 rapayanta la baba. In the name of Jesus, we come against every demonic accusations, every satanic accusations against your people, against our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying once again. Every witchcraft activity in your life, in your dreams, we come against it. We set it on fire. We set your works on fire. We set your plans on fire. Every satanic programming against your life, against the church, against your, your people, against our destiny, Lord, we overturn. We overturn, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we curse their root. We curse their root. We curse their root. We curse their root. Wherever they gather, wherever they gather, send, we send fire. We send the fire of God. We send the fire of God. We send the fire of God. Holy Ghost, expose them. Expose them now. Balaloniate, Rabababa, Rabayatalababa. Every wickedness, O God. Every plantation of evil in our lives, O God. We overturn. Ladies and gentlemen, God, we today bless you. For joining us in the prayer time, I, I know the Lord has touched you, and I want you to stretch your hands as I pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Just thank the Lord for the move of the Spirit. Thank the Lord for touching you. Thank the Lord for touching you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. May deliverance come to you right now, even as you are listening to us. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. Anybody that is fighting battles from their home. Let the anointing locate you now in the name of Jesus. May you break free from that shackles. May you break free from that limitation. May you break free from that barrenness. Holy Ghost fire. Lord, I come against every wickedness in the name of Jesus. I come against every activity of darkness in the name of Jesus. I release you. I release you. I release your soul. I release your soul. I release your soul. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release your soul right now. 
I release your soul right now. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. May anybody that is not a good friend around you, may Jehovah expose them. May the Lord expose them. May they eat of their flesh and drink of their blood. Any accusations against you, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord and the finger of the Lord speak for you, even as you are watching me right now. In Jesus' precious name, I call it that. Amen. Child of God, God richly bless you. I will continue the series next week. And I want you to know that God is still in the deliverance business. God is still touching lives. Now, if you have your offering and your tithe, I want you to lift it as we pray. I want you to speak over my nice seed, ask the Lord to bless that seed in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray over the seed. May you bless the work of your hands. Cause them to flourish. May they not beg. Bless them, Lord. Flourish them, Lord. Increase them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We bless you, O Jehovah. Lord, multiply the seed in your hands as they give to support the work of God. May you flourish them in Jesus' name. Amen. See the numbers on the screen, call it and give those of you outside and give. You are within the UAE and also give. The Lord bless you as you support the work of God. The Lord bless you. Tomorrow we resume the prayer reign. Then Wednesday we come with you. Come to you with our prayer. Uh, we have prayer Wednesday service. Then uh, Friday, uh, Thursday with our French service. Then on Friday with our usual uh, Saturday service. The Lord bless you. Uh, the Lord bless you so much. Um, the Lord flourish you. This week, my prayer for you is that may you hear good news. May you be celebrated. Wherever you went to and you were rejected, may God grant you favor. May doors be opened unto you. Jesus' name, I call it that. Amen. Uh, my producer will play a short video as I say, Shalom. God bless you.